Johnny Mary here, and welcome back to another review. Today, we're going to be reviewing one of my most anticipated games of the year, and that was Mario Strikers Battle League. Yeah, this game did just release on June 10th. I have been playing it quite a bit, I've put in quite a few hours, and um, I have some things I definitely want to say about, about this game because there is some good but there's definitely some bad we're gonna have to talk about it so let's get into this review first off I'd like to say I think Strikers is one of if not the best Mario sports series one actually one of the best Mario spin-offs in general uh, Strikers has always been a fan favorite and I love Mario Strikers charged on the Wii uh, that one is my favorite. However, I've always been more of a sluggers guy personally, but <laughs> let's hope for that another year. Right now, we're worried about Mario Strikers. And this one, Battle League, brings a different taste to the series. Uh, I say that with skepticism because there are things that resemble the er earlier games. And there's things that they definitely learned off of from the other games. But I like to think of this, when I play it, I don't feel like I'm playing just Mario Strikers. I feel like I'm playing a whole new type of Mario spin-off game. It's still soccer, you know, you still got the the super cool animations, but it just feels different. Um, and that's a good and bad thing. I think the best part about this game is actually the gameplay and uh, obviously that's a good good thing that's what you would hope i really like the passing the shooting the running around the court i like the items i like the hyper strikes of course and you know watching all the animations with it it just it it, it adds up to a good time and that that's what i really have to say about this game is it's just a good fun game it's nothing amazing out of this world but there are definitely some issues. We're going to get into the issues later. But one of my favorite parts is uh, the gear in the game. I think having gear as a uh, type of customization option and strategic element to the game adds a lot. Uh, especially for a game that needs as much as it can possibly get. Again, we'll get into that later. But the gear adds a really nice touch to it. I, I, I've really enjoyed, you know, customizing my characters. I have every single one of my characters customized to the way I like them. And I've, I I really do enjoy that. Uh, by the way, Toad with all turbo gear is just insane. Um, yeah, I, I really do love, love the gear. It adds a whole new strategy. And uh, I do love me some strategy. So, that out of the way... Of course, you get to choose different uh, stadiums, uh, colors, characters. Yeah, we'll get into what I think about that. But then you get into the game. It's fun. You know, you learn how to pass. You learn different strategies. Who's good up front? Who's good up top and down below? Who's good in the back? You know, you you, you it, it's really a good soccer game. But then the issue lies on what kind of game it's trying to be. And ladies and gentlemen, this is... A Nintendo game at its finest meaning bare minimum Nintendo has returned once again for Mario Strikers Battle League and here's what's sad Mario Strikers like I just said is a fan favorite Mario spinoff it's a fan favorite Mario series and they out of any sports game that's released on the switch so far gave this one the least amount of content I enjoyed golf, Mario Golf Super Rush, a lot. There was a single player career mode. There was multiple different uh, game modes that I could play. There was obviously exhibition. There was progression. There was so much in that game and they added stuff really quickly. Granted, yeah, the game's only been out for a week, but that doesn't help the fact that this game, Mario Strikers, you could play it for like an hour and have seen everything this game has to offer. In no way, shape, or form should you spend $60 and be done with the game in an hour. And unfortunately, that is exactly what's happening with this game. There is Quick Play, Online, Battle Cup, and Battle Club. That's it. 
quick play is basically online as well. So really get get get, get rid of online. Quick play is just online. Battle Club is just join a club and play games. And Battle Cup is the thing you used to see on the N64 with like uh, games where you just go go through like little challenges and they would AI would adjust a little bit. It's it, it really is just bare bones. And the gear you earn 400 coins for completing every every Battle Cup. You earn 100 for playing exhibition matches. You can unlock like almost every gear really quickly. There's just not a lot to do in this game, and that's the big issue with it, is because the game itself is really, really fun. But you can't do a lot of it, because there's not a lot to do. Now, I hope they update the game, I hope they add DLC, I hope they, you know, expand the game for what it is. There's only 10 characters, that is not a lot, you know, you're, you're, you're missing big characters in the franchise, Diddy Kong, Daisy, Bowser Jr., my main man, you know, you're missing so much in the game. It's just a shame to see because Super Rush, Mario Golf Super Rush, did such a good job at actually making a game feel fully fleshed out to the point where you you, you can enjoy it for hours. But this one, it's 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 really hard to do so. Now, granted, I have played m multiple hours. I think I have eight hours on the game right now. Uh, but that's just because I've just been playing it, you know, for number one, for content, and number two, uh, I've played it with some friends. But on my own time, I'm not really wanting to play it because I've already done everything. So it's, it's, it's definitely an interesting game uh, to do a review on because it actually left me disappointed. And that's really sad because I was look, so looking forward to this game. If you guys watched my previous video, uh, Top 10 Most Anticipated Games of 2022, uh, I had Mario Strikers at number 3. Yeah, that didn't pan out too well. Um, but no, I, 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 the big, biggest takeaway from this game is that the gameplay is fun. The animations... You, you you can tell they put effort into playing the game. And of course, going into this game, we knew one of the coolest things about this game would be its animations. The celebrations, the defeats, the just got scored on animations, the uh, intro animations, and of course, the anime epic hyper strikes. Just are so cool honestly some of the best in the entire series some of the best in any mario sports games in general so that i do have to give credit to but outside of the game not really things that you're able to do in the game they didn't they didn't do a lot it's just sad man it's sad uh this is actually one of the first negative reviews probably on the channel and that one hurts too you know that that, that also really hurts to say but I can't lie, I can't sugarcoat it, I can't say, oh yeah, I've always wanted Mario Strikers, uh, so I'm, I'm like, th this game's great. No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. And I've heard a lot of bad reviews about this because of the main issue that there's just not a lot to this game. <laughs> that hurts, man, it hurts. Um, but no, I, I also I do have a little criticism with the gameplay itself. I just feel as if sometimes it's like RNG, like you would do something and it would do something and then you do it the same thing again and then it ha does something completely different. It's, I don't know, that could, could just be me, just thought I'd throw it in there. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think of, of this game down below. I just, in conclusion, it's a really fun game. I really had a blast with it for what was there. And it wasn't a lot, and it kind of left me disappointed. I'm going to have to give this game a 7.5 out of 10. I know that really hurts. That really hurts to say because I think it's a really good game when you play it. <laughs> and you can only play it for about 5 hours before you start getting bored. Oh, man. It's, it's, yeah, it's not good. Um... Let me know what you guys think down, down below. If they add new game modes, new characters, I could see that number going up for sure. But as of right now, I and with a $60, you know, price tag on it, it's a little rough. It's 
a little rough. Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll see you in the next one. Johnny Morales. Peace.